What's going on, fifth grade? Happy Monday to you. Welcome to day three of our pronouns unit today. We are, of course, starting with a warm up. The only one on the board because I'm asking you to do several things with this warm up. First being, take your time and identify all pronouns you see. I'll go ahead and give you a hint. There are two in this sentence. So, pause the video and do that now. Welcome back. Okay, I'm going to circle in red the pronouns I see. They awarded Lisa. Oh, they. Remember, a pronoun is a word that can take the place of a noun. So instead of Spider-Man is cool, you could have said he is cool. He being the pronoun. Next. So we have they awarded Lisa the prize. Then it says she was very happy. Hmm. I see that she is one of those pronouns. Because again, she could be Lisa again. But instead, it's she. A lot easier to say. A lot shorter time to say it in. Now, second part. Can you tell me the antecedent of the word she? Remember, the antecedent is what that pronoun is referring to. When I say Spider-Man is cool, he has awesome powers, that he's referring to Spider-Man because that's who I was talking about in the last sentence. So, last time, take a minute to pause and give me the antecedent of the word she. Okay, welcome back. They awarded Lisa the prize. She was very happy. She is referring to Lisa. So I'm gonna take a yellow color I'll put an arrow to Lisa because she is what, or sorry, Lisa is what she is talking about. And that again is your antecedent. We learned about that last time. So in this little warm up, we just went over everything that we've been over so far in the entire unit. There you go. That's our warm up. Let's take us back to the PowerPoint if I can remember how to do that. Ah, there we go. All right. So today we are going to be talking about something that's very I'd say kind of tricky as far as pronoun usage. When you use a pronoun, you have to make sure that your verbs agree with your pronoun. For instance, she went to the park. You don't say she went to the park. And you might think, well, I know that, Mr. Dooley. Well, there's a lot of situations where you might get those a little confused, so I want to make sure that you have these down pat. So first of all, don't worry about the blue. Let's worry about this right here. He and Carmen wrote a report on the subject. Not him and Carmen. Again, you might be tempted to say him and Carmen wrote the report, but we are going to be going through a cool trick that I've come up with, well, say come up with, YouTube did, on how to know what pronoun to use with what verb, and kind of a quick little review of verb is something you do. I flew into the sky. I talked to my mother. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see. What is, okay, here we go. Lee and I read some ancient Roman myths. Now, I hear this all the time. Yeah, me and Jacob are going to the park. Here's my trick. Get rid of Jacob. Me go to the park. No. I go to the park. Same thing here. Same thing with another sentence like, um, my friend and I went to the movies. I went. You don't say my friend and me went to the movies. Me went. No, 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 no. You want to say me and my, me and my friend my friend and I, because I went to the movies, my friend went to the movies. If those two things separated make sense, then you know that you've got the right pronoun for the right verb. So, the writer of this report was she. It is I. So, the writer was she. The writer was I. That is where it starts to get a little tricky. So, let's go back, because that really, you know, that's pretty much the slides for that, but let's go back to he and Carmen. So, he wrote. I don't even, I don't even use my, my writer to tell, or my uh, pencil to show you this. Watch this. He wrote. That makes sense, but also Carmen wrote. Now, try using him. Him wrote a report on the subject. That doesn't sound right coming out of your mouth, so make sure that it lines up. And what I like to do is literally what I just showed you. If I'm seeing a sentence on a worksheet or on something that I just wrote, Get a pencil and match it to the verb. He wrote, that matches. Carmen wrote, that also matches. Let's go down here. Tell John and me about her business. I might be thinking, wait a minute, wait, Ms. Julie, really you just told me not to use me earlier. Well, let's see though. Tell, okay, tell who? Tell me. Well, let's switch it out. Tell I, ooh, that doesn't, that doesn't sound right. But tell me, that matches. Easy, tell me about Hercules. Tell John about Hercules. All of that makes sense. So, it's not I there because you're telling me. You don't tell I. Whoop, let me get rid of this. 
So the last thing I'll leave you with is if you use the trick where you find the pronoun and then you can match it to the verb, you can check yourself to see if, oh, am I using the right pronoun here? Is, should it be I or should it be me? Let's see. Miss Fields, and then we'll use me as well. We went to the park. I went. Miss Fields went. So it would be Miss Fields and I. Do you see how that works? Now, let's do another one. Spider-Man and Captain America fought Dr. Doom. Let's replace those with pronoun. Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Captain America fought Dr. Doom. They or them or they or them beat Dr. Doom. What's going to be? Them beat Dr. Doom. They beat Dr. Doom. So if you use those tricks, again, switching out your pronouns, seeing which one makes sense, that is how you know which pronoun to use. On Google Forms, you're going to find a multiple choice assignment where you're going to have a sentence but there's a blank, and you're going to have to tell me which pronoun you're supposed to use based off of what you just learned today. This has been day three of pronouns. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I'm going to be back with another video tomorrow on our next topic, which is going to be possessive and reflexive pronouns. I will see you guys then. Have a great Monday.